We got brutal on the scene, wicked and mean. You know the jump shot clean, keep it a beam. And in the lane, baby, flow the soft with a lean. And when you put me on the block, call me the dream. Ooh, dope. Ooh, dope. It's your boy. You don't know brutal. Sim on the scene, wicked and mean with a next video for y'all man so you all know what it is by now i'll give you all five seconds five seconds to make sure show your boys some support show the video some support and like up the video y'all i know y'all got your boy i know y'all got your boy bruce squad we in the building so y'all know i got y'all man a lot of people been requesting tips and tricks on this shooting stick and i got used to it man i'm pretty decent with it right now and y'all know i'm running with a point for so this is not a shooting build teaching y'all how to shoot this is a pretty much decent build not really all that but decent at shooting teaching y'all how to master the right stick the pro stick or the shot stick or whatever you want to call it man i'm gonna start off by giving the 2k dev the sar a big shout out because he gave some tips in one of his live streams that definitely helped me out now of course you know i'm gonna make sure and get it unlocked first before i bring it to y'all so it can make your life so much easier man all right so let's get to it i got five tips right here that could help y'all make a huge difference once you're focusing and locking on these five tips and work on these i guarantee y'all you all will see a huge difference in using the right stick because believe it or not i kind of gave up on the right stick until i watched that video and then started to make some adjustments and it changed everything all right so let's get straight to it now the first thing y'all gotta know man you see a boy right here i bring a controller cam and the whole nine man all right but anyways the first thing y'all gotta look at is listen to me y'all this year this year more than ever more than ever these attributes matter y'all all right so let's check out my bill this is a point forward of course um now he's a 99 overall man i know what y'all guys i mean it's a few days 99 overall y'all know how i grind 99 overall and his attributes when you look at his attributes it says a lot now of course currently i got a 78 on my three it was a 75 it was a 74 when i was a 95 actually a 74 when i was 95 and i was able to shoot decent decent with trees not that consistent but still decent when you look at the middies now ah uh, this is where my build really stands out and really dominates the middies are so consistent it's crazy whenever i miss i feel like nah now i'm gonna be cussing out 2k for missing on these man i ain't gonna front so i know the strengths of my build yes you can't necessarily leave me open because i've been i played the wreck i was hitting trees consistently of course um but the middies is where my build really shines so you the attributes man you gotta know the limitation to your build don't go out there with a 50 on your shooting and expect to hit consistently this is not the game for that right now the next thing you gotta know is badges matter y'all let's go into my badges real quick we're gonna run through these don't worry five quick steps i got y'all though the badges i'm using right now check it out these are my main badges i'm using i'm using catch and shoot of course corner specialist flexible release and range extender a lot of people say difficult shots but i'm telling you right now the way how the game is you don't need difficult shots to hit consistently consistent leans especially in the middies man you do not in fact i know sharpshooters that say yo i, I never even thought about equipping difficult shots and they are still hitting consistently till this day all right but i'm telling y'all these are the most important badges you don't have to put them all the way gold you could spread them out a little bit and when after you get your hot spots which is which is going to be my next point of course right badges matter but the next thing that really matter more than badges more than badges more than previous years are the hot zones y'all the hot zones all right i'm going shooting right here pull out my hot zones don't worry i'm gonna give you all some six skills tips real quick man i gotta cover these i gotta cover all everything hot zones so look at my hot zones right here this is my park hot zones right here right so you notice at the top here if i shoot from here i'm not going to shoot a high percentage at all 
All right. Ooh, green. Ooh, ooh, ooh I got the stick on lock. I'm telling y'all, don't play with your boy. All right. But I'm not going to hit a high percentage share. Right now, I think the call is set on all stars. So it might get a little bit more flexible. I think the part might be somewhere between all star and superstar. But um, yeah, I like to switch it up uh, a little off. But my middies are so good, especially with the hot zones. It's going to hit at a higher rate. So you don't get that much penalized for neutral zones. But cold zones. Yeah, you're going to feel a hit, especially if you're not a shooting, shooting, shooting type that I'm talking about. But sharpshooters, the play sharps out there, they probably don't have to worry. They could shoot over everywhere. Fades, right? Check out your boy with the fade, though. Hot zones matter. That's the third point that y'all need to really consider, man. Now, time for the stick skills now. Uh, something that the SAR said in his video that really stood out to me and that I tried, right? Look at the controller right now. What I used to do, I used to lock it down here. Oh my god, my aim is so on point. You see that was dead center and it still went right because it was a white on um, a neutral zone, right? I used to lock it all the way down to the extreme. <laughs> what he said in his stream, right? When he was giving tips, he said you should slide it, press it down, not all the way down, just enough for you to pull it up, and then you could adjust. It's much easier to adjust with slight movement. So you're not going to the extreme where it's locking the bottom of the controller like this, right? You're not going all the way down where it's locking the bottom of the controller. You're going slight. Let me see if there's a difference. I wish I could zoom in on my camera, but you're going slight until it just active so it's easier to adjust and move. It's much easier to adjust when you're not when you're not going all the way down, bro. So it's an easy pull down the stick and not all the way. And I'm telling y'all, this made such a huge difference in me adjusting anytime I see it. So if I see it off, I'm going extreme just because if I see it like completely off, it's much easier for me to adjust the right stick when I'm easing it down like this. You see, it's much easier for me to adjust the right stick without. If I'm putting to the extreme down now, that's way more difficult. A much more sharp movement of the right stick, man. So after he said this, bro, I, w I went into the lab. I ain't gonna front. So I'm pretty much used to my controller now. But that easing of the right stick there, right there, helped big time, y'all. Now the next thing that y'all gotta know, outside of that easing, easing of the stick, um, this is for more advanced. You don't need to focus on that lock-in movement, and this is from um, Die for You. Die for You. Went into the lab and was working on that right stick. And she told me something. Shout out to that for you, man. You know, she brewed squad for a minute. She told me, brute, after the jump shot, after the ball leaves your hand, you still have a split second to aim the shot. Now, look at the jump shot. It leaves and still I could actually still move it after the ball leaves my hand. And this, you're going to see this happen a lot in the park. Leave and you could still adjust it a little bit. So, you're still able to green and adjust it after it leaves your hand like and still adjust it a little bit after the ball leaves your hand it's weird though but it's a split second thing that you gotta you know a lot of times when you and you could try it out on your court a lot of times especially in the park a lot of people as soon as it leaves their hand they give up on the shot and like right, cool but sometimes they actually guide the guide the shot outside after it leaves their hands take a shot in the park especially take a shot and you're gonna notice there is a slight delay after the ball leaves your hand and sometimes you could actually pull it back after that y'all trust me all right and this is some guy for you really had to highlight to me first i know it's after she said that i started looking a little bit closer at it man so that's why i don't like necessarily locking in my shot because it's kind of taking away from um how you know from me writing some of my wrongs after <laughs> after the ball leaves my hands it's like a follow through um aspect to the game so to speak if you all don't know as a shooter the coach always tells you keep that follow through up my g keep that follow through up you gotta guide it in and that's pretty much in this game so i gotta give them a little bit of props for that i don't know if they did unlock or if it's just because the servers are a little delayed but yeah that's the thing and the next thing the last thing i want to give you all and this is a little bonus this is a little bonus right it's more of a kind of two-step thing when it comes to the stick right there are a few things you gotta focus on if you really want to master the stick and you don't have to do this this is more for advanced users of course um it's it's the aiming of the right stick 
while locking it in if you see it in the center or in that spot you like you comfortable and then releasing the right sticks you get extra points of course for getting it as close to the center as possible but you get an additional boost for locking it in right which is tapping the left trigger right here you get an extra boost for tapping it for tapping that left trigger you get an extra boost so that's locking it in and then you get an extra boost for shot timing and i'm just breaking while i just spoke you you get an extra boost for releasing the right stick so you get an extra boost for locking it in with the left trigger and you get an extra boost for releasing the right stick with the right timing right so even if your shot is a little bit off once you lock it in with this button and release this at a good enough timing you get a little extra boost that will help your off shot even if the bar is off right but that's for more advanced people of course for the moment if you're now getting like now starting it i would suggest that you focus on getting this as close to center as possible and holding down the right stick for as long as possible and guiding it in because as i said before sometimes you could really right your wrongs if you think you're a little bit off right and you see as soon as i was practicing starting to lock in and all kind of stuff i was missing as soon as i forget that and focus more on guiding it to the middle i'm start getting much closer more greens this is what you need to focus on with mastering the stick man all right so hopefully this video help you all out man y'all know what it is your boy sim oh yeah one more tip just a, just a little side tip if i would if i was y'all i would get into the my court put up the difficulty start off on pro and whenever you feel you get more advanced raise the difficulty a little bit to kind of raise your challenge raise the challenge up a little bit while you get better and constantly look for slightly like slightly um left slightly right um you know what i mean centers of course are bonuses and not only that you gotta i would suggest sometime you go on the ball machine and do some catch and shoots like this that thank god they got a ball machine you know they introduced this one last year probably so right go on the ball machine and practice some catch and shoot man not only catch and shoot outside catch and shoot look at that that was close not all the way in like some do a set of um some right quick stop you know so you could practice all those stuff you need to practice and that's because everything you get a different animation it kind of going to throw off your timing a little bit but as far as you guiding bro one thing i like about the stick the guidance is consistent bro it's consistent the, the guys is consistent man you know what i mean but anyways man hopefully these tips help you all out y'all know what it is your boy sim i said i ain't mastered all the way yet but i'm getting so much better it was just crazy when the game just dropped like there's such a huge difference like and this is all i've been playing with y'all trust me all i've been playing with right now is the stick and um pause um <laughs> the shot stick <laughs> oh man the chat be killing me in uh, my streams and i've been seeing major improvements and i want this for y'all man but anyways man let me know what y'all think about the video y'all know it's your boy sim first time to the channel kobe like the video share the video and hit your boy your sub subscribe if you're not your first time like the video share the video you never know who's gonna be informed y'all your boy sim one love respect bless up peace Wait, wait, where the echo at? I gotta do it with my next finger. My bad. Peace. peace, 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 peace. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Bless up, y'all.